Hello everyone, today let's learn how to solve some important competency questions of trigonometry from volume 4. So this topic is a request from one of our Enjoy Math viewers. So here is a caves based question. So this is the rough figure of the side view of a proposed water slide which has to be constructed in a water park. So friends this is the diagram and the first question that they have asked is what should be the measure of the angle between slide 2 and the ground? if the length of AB is 1.2 root 3 meters. So let's see where is slide 2. This is slide 2. So this is the ground. This is the angle. The angle between slide 2 and the ground that we have to find. And the data that is given is AB is 1.2 root 3 meters. And it's already given in the diagram that GB is 3.6 meters. Now also friends did you notice that we have two right angle triangles here. This is one triangle which is right angle and this also. So wherever there is right angle triangle. Yes we can definitely use trigonometric ratios. And that's what we are going to do here. So let's consider this triangle GAB. So so let me call slide 2 as AG, right? This is AG. So we have to find this angle between slide 2 and AB. So what is the name of this angle, friends? Yes, angle GAB. So I have to find angle GAB. So let's see, it is given to us that GB is GB is 3.6 and AB is also given to us as how much 1.2 root 3. So which trigonometric ratio connects GB and AB? Just see what is GB friends for this angle? Yes, it is the opposite side and what is AB? It is the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent sides are given. So which ratio can we use? Definitely we can use tan ratio. So tan of angle GAB is equal to the opposite side. Now what is the opposite side for this angle? GB divided by what is the adjacent side? AB. Right? I hope you got this. Now what is GB? It is given as 3.6 and AB is given as 1.2 root 3. That's it. Now let's see. We can definitely remove the decimal point. So 36 divided by 12 root 3. And uh, yes, this goes directly in 12 stable. So 3 root 3. Now there is a root 3 in the denominator. So can you guess what we have to do? Yes, we have to rationalize the denominator, remove the root from the denominator. So tan of angle GAB is equal to 3 root 3. Now what is root 3 into root 3? Yes, it is 3. So see friends, apart from trigonometry, we also need to know rationalization. So of course, 3, 3 gets cancelled. So tan of angle GAB is root 3. So tan of which angle is root 3? Yes, can you guess? Exactly, 60 degrees. So tan 60 is root 3. That means our angle GAB is 60 degrees. So which option will be correct over here? Yes, the third option will be correct. I hope you got this. Now friends, let's see the next question. What should be the value of angle tan AGB if the length of slide 2 is 6 meters? So again, we are focusing on slide 2 only. The length of slide 2 is now given. So what is AG? Yes, that is 6 meters and we have to find the value of tan AGB. Okay, so what is AGB? Let me first see. AGB is this angle. So we have to find the tan ratio. Now, remember friends, not to use the data that you found in the previous questions unless and until mentioned. Okay, so uh, we will freshly use the data that is given here. So tan AGB, let's see, can you tell me what is tan ratio? Yes, it is opposite upon adjacent. So for AGB, this angle, what is the opposite side? Yes, it is AB and the adjacent side is GB, right? Now, do we have AB? Not really. So we have to find AB. Do we know GB? Yes, it's already given in the data that GB is 3.6 meter. So if I somehow find AB, I can find out this tan ratio. So again, friends, let me see the diagram. We have to find AB and AG is given and GB is given. And did you see that this is a right angle triangle? So can I use Pythagoras theorem? Yes, definitely I can use. So what does it say? The hypotenuse square that is AG square is 
gb square that is the sum of the squares of the other two sides right i hope you got this this is by the pythagoras theorem so let's straight away substitute the values ag square we have been given as 6 so 6 square is gb already given is 3.6 plus ab square we have to find now friends 6 square is 36 and 3.6 the whole square that is 12.96 plus ab square so what is ab square yes it is 36 minus 12.96 okay so let me just continue over here now when you do 36 minus 12.96 we'll get 23.04 friends you can just check it out so ab is square root of 23.04 now i just calculated square root of 23.04 is working out to be 4.8 so ab is 4.8 that's great we found the value of ab and we already know gb so let's find out tan agb it will be ab which is 4.8 divided by gb which is 3.6 so i just get rid of the decimal point I'll get 48 by 36 and uh, yes they both will go in 12 stable so 12 fours are 48 and 12 threes are so tan agb is 4 by 3 which means which is the option yes number 1 now friends let's see the fifth question if slide 1 makes an angle of 150 degrees with the flat part and fd is given as 8.5 what is the height of the top point of slide 1 from the ground so friends this is slide 1 and that makes an angle of 150 degrees with the flat part now where is the flat part now it's already labeled in the diagram that this is the flat part so this angle they are saying is 150 degrees so can I name that angle yes angle GFE is 150 degrees and uh, yes one more data is that FD is 8.5 meters what do we have to find the height of the top point of slide 1 see this is the top point of slide 1 what is its height from the ground that is they have already given in the bracket also which is great they have told us to find EC now friends EC is not part of any right angle triangle but if you observe I can always write EC as ED plus DC did you see that yes so if I somehow find the value of ED and DC my job is done now what is DC did you see this DC is a part of a rectangle see over here so you know that in a rectangle opposite sides are always equal so that's great because now DC will be equal to GB and GB they've already given the diagram is 3.6 meters so now I have found out DC I just have to find ED now ED is part of this right angle triangle right so this is ED which I have to find out now do I know FD yes it's given that FD is 8.5 but what is this angle we know this angle is 150 but what is this angle yes by linear pair we know that 150 degrees plus angle EFD is equal to 180 degrees this is linear pair you can write in the bracket so what is angle EFD yes 180 minus 150 which is 30 degrees so this small angle here is 30 degrees so I know this angle I know what is FD I just have to find ED so which ratio will help us find it yes tan 30 so tan 30 is equal to opposite side which is ED upon the adjacent side which is FD now what is tan 30 friends yes 1 by root 3 what is ED I don't know we have to find out and FD is 8.5 so I can definitely bring 8.5 to the other side so ED is 8.5 by root 3 now it's already given in the question that whenever you want to substitute root 3 take the value as 1.7 so we'll directly do that friends okay so we'll write ad is 8.5 divided by 1.7 so here again i can take out the decimal so it's 85 by 17 and uh, 17 fives are 85 friends so, so when i cut it out it will come 5 so ed is 5 meters now see so we know that ec is ed plus dc what is ed yes it's 5 and what is DC? Yes, 3.6. So, EC is equal to 8.6 meters. So, which of the options is correct? Yes, the second option.
Here is question number 6. What should be the length of slide 2 if the angle between slide 2 and the ground is 30 degrees? So friends, as you see, they are just changing the value for every question. Earlier, we found out this angle to be 60 degrees. Now they are asking us to take the angle as 30 degrees. So just take the angle as they have told in the question. Okay, so this angle GAB they have told is 30 degrees. We have to find the length of slide 2. That is, we have to find what is AG. So let's see this angle is 30. So angle GAB is 30 friends. Okay. Yes. Now what other side do we know? Yes, we know that GB is 3.6. Now remember that we can't take the value of AB that we found in the previous question. So the permanent data is that GB is 3.6. So friends, which ratio will connect AG with GB? Yes, it is sine of 30. Remember, sine ratio is opposite side by hypotenuse. So, let me write that down. Sine 30 is the opposite. So, opposite of this angle is GB and the hypotenuse is AG. So, what is GB over here? 3.6 and AG is definitely what I have to find. Sine 30 is half. So, let me just bring AG to the other side and 2 to the other side. So, 3.6 into 2 which is 7.2 uh, yes meters. So, that is the length of the slide 2. That means which option should I check? Yes, this option. Now, here is question number 7. If angle GAB is equal to angle EFD. Okay, let us see what is GAB. GAB is equal to EFD. Okay, so they are saying these two angles are equal and angle AGB that is this angle is equal to angle FED. Okay, so let me just take another color. So, these two angles are equal. They are saying now we have to find which of this is equal to sec of GAB. So, friends, let us write it down. Sec of angle GAB we have to find is equal to what? It has to be equal to one of these four options. Now, let us have a closer look at angle GAB. Okay, this is the angle. Now, friends, it is in this triangle. So, can I say that angle GAB is nothing but 90 minus angle AGB. Just have a look friends. Is this correct? Because now how did I get this you may ask. Well, let us see. You know that angle GAB plus angle AGB plus 90 degrees is 180. See, by the angle sum property, these three angles will add up to 180. Now, GAB I do not know, AGB also I do not know, but when I add these two, the 90 goes to the other side and we get 90, which means angle GAB is 90 minus angle AGB, friends. And that is how I substituted GAB as 90 minus AGB. I hope you got this now. Now, what is sec of 90 minus theta? Can you guess? Yes, sec of 90 minus theta is always cosec of that same theta. Now, theta here is angle AGB. So, I will just write that over here. Now, let me see if there any of the options are matching. No, not really, right? It is not matching. So, let us use the other data that is given. Now, it is given to us that AGB is equal to FED. Wow, that is great. So, that means instead of AGB, I can now write FED because it is given in the data, right? Now, let me compare the options. Okay, COSEC, yes, see? COSEC FED is the one of the options here. That means option number 3 is the correct answer. I hope you got this friends. Now let us come to question number 10. This is a proof that question. We have to prove that 1 plus tan x plus sec x the whole square is equal to this expression. So friends whenever we have a proof that question you either start with the left hand side and show that it is equal to the right hand side or you start with the right hand side and show that it is equal to the left hand side. So friends usually we choose the side where we have more scope for simplification. So, I think we can take the left hand side friends. So, let me just write it down. LHS is 1 plus tan x plus sec x the 
whole square. Now let's have a look at what we have to prove. We have to show that this is equal to 2 bracket 1 plus sec x bracket sec x plus tan x. So always keep in mind friends what we have to prove because if we don't know what we have to prove how are we going to prove it right. So somehow we have to get 1 plus sec x sec x plus tan x. So the good news is that we don't have to change these ratios. See there is tan x here and there is tan x here sec x is also in both the sides. So let's see what can be done. So friends did you observe that this looks very much like the algebra identity a plus b plus c the whole square well do you recall it yes it is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times ab plus bc plus ca. So let's just try and substitute this algebra formula over here. So I will get 1 square plus uh, b I have taken as tan x so it will be tan square x plus x square x plus 2 times ab that is tan x plus bc which is tan x sec x plus ca which is sec x okay well this is done now what can we do let's have a look 1 plus tan square x yes there is an identity which says that 1 plus tan square is equal to sec square that's great so let me just substitute over here i will get sec square plus sec square x plus this whole thing i'm just going to write it as it is well definitely friends we can add these two up so we'll get 2 sec x square plus 2 times uh, this whole thing again definitely I can take out the two common so let me take out the two common and uh, let's see somehow we have to get this expression let's see how to get it well friends did you notice that there are four terms here so let's try to see if we can group two terms together well here I have sec square x and here I have a tan x sec x so maybe I can group these two and tan x and sec x maybe we can group that well let's see what happens so when I group these two together so I can take out sec x common did you notice that so what remains is sec x plus tan x Yes, I hope you're getting it. Now, tan x plus sec x, there is really nothing common, right? There's nothing common. So, if there's nothing common, then definitely I can take out one common from there, right? So, this is what we get. Now, let's see friends. Here also we have sec x plus tan x. Here also we have sec x plus tan x. That is great. So, from both these terms, I can take out tan x plus sec x common. So, I'll get tan x plus sec x common. So, when I take this common from both these terms, what remains here is only sec x and there is a plus over here and there is a 1. That's it. So that's great. Did you see that? We have already got our right hand side. So this is equal to the right hand side. So friends, this is how you need to solve this proof and I hope you found this video useful. If so, do like and share. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your questions, your doubts, your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.